The new star system up for 3.24.3 P2 pass just dropped not too long ago. And also CIG also intends to drop a 4.0 patch as well. And a little bit of news about that. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for a Naughty Eye Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. So we've gotten a 3.24.3 uh, patch. We're going to go quickly through that one and then we'll talk about what's going on with 4.0. Okay. So the test focus for this one is stability and uh, bug fixes, IAE halls, uh, safe stanton event, Polaris Star Lancer, uh, Intrepid, the uh, Anvil Terrapin Medic, and um, the new uh, F7Cs, and the uh, standard and uh, Anvil Terrapin polishes as well. All right, so this one here, they have a few updates here under features and gameplay under the location category. Uh, they've reduced the audio fix volume of Planetary Wind, under gameplay, they've done um, save stance in phase four uh, is now set to complete on Idris pilot death instead of full fleet. It says their Polaris uh, polish pass. It says they've added extra collision to hangar interior floor as part of the exterior to counter the large ship going through the floor from outside the physics grid. Further torpedo loading optimization. They also done a polish on the Star Lancer. It says the pilot MFD and HUD rework has been done. Lighting and audio ambience polish pass and added working mirror to the Star Lancer Max. Hab bathrooms. All right. Also, they've done further LOD and performance polish for the Polaris Terrapin and uh, Star Lancer Max and the Intrepid. Further MISC Prospector Dash Art feedback polish and uh, further Anvil Terrapin Medical. Uh, thrusters effects and audio and death mask polish all right they have a few buff fixes for this one they fixed an issue where no option for bed logouts uh, for the misc star lancer they fix an issue where sometimes the ship will fly off the vehicle rtt on both cast and mfd they fix an issue where there are a this area issue with the component bay and uh, cargo bay door in the 400i they fix an issue where the ramps of the MISC Starfarer and the MISC Starfarer Gemini do not extend blocking access to the vehicle. I thought they fixed this already. I guess it broke again. They fixed an issue where the Hercules spawn and land off balance on hangar floor. So now this has to do with all variants. They fix an issue where you're unable to remove missiles or torpedoes from animating racks. For the Polaris, they fix an issue where the player falls out of the Polaris when falling inside reactor pool. The fixing issue where the medbed exit animation is not working properly and has players clipping into the bed upon exits. They fix an issue where bullet impact decals appearing above surface of ships. They fix an issue where player hears beep sounds while in or out of the Polaris. They fix an issue where objects can be seen calling early from the pilot seat in certain areas of the cockpit glass when not intended they fix an issue where debris elements between the terrapin main thrusters and the body of the ship can be broken off extremely easily they fix an issue where the ai stops shooting the attacked hauler uh, midway through the phase if there is an issue where the slicer idris pdc are tagged as uee advocacy and are causing attacking players to be flagged as hostile. They fix an issue where the Aegis Retaliator cannot enter nav mode. They fix an issue where gun turrets has misaligned collision. Along with this is three client crashes and four server crash fixes. So now about the Star Citizen Alpha 4.0. So CIG said earlier this morning through the message of the day that they intended to do a 4.0 build tonight. And um, if all goes well, they'll release it into wave one. So what happened was while they're doing the testing before the build actually went out, they realized that there was a blocker that will prevent it from going to wave one. So what they're now saying is uh, in the morning, they're going to try to work out a hot fix. And if that goes well, then they may push Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 into wave one. Let's hope it works. Because uh, I think it's been way too long for us um, just watching from the outside, right? 
Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase One Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.